Hello, Aldo Figueroa here. In this video, we are going to explore using lofts, where what you see right here, I have a series of nerves paths that are created, and I use a duplicate, duplicate special. I'll show you how to use that so that we could select these in a specific order and I already have them created. Let me go ahead and bring them back. And I was able to create the surface. So I want to show you how to go about doing this, create something that looks similar to this. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all this stuff and just hide this. So what I want to do, uh, I'm just going to start off with a under create. I'm going to go to nerves primitives. We're going to create a circle. And I'm going to start off with the circle here. And I'm just going to scale it up a bit just so that it's a little bit larger. Over right here, changing these uh, different tools. This is uh, to change the size of the, manip the manip manipulator handle. Uh, you press either the minus or the plus key to make them minus, to make them smaller, plus to make them mar larger. OK, so I'm just uh, scaling this up. I'm going to right mouse click on it. And now I'm going to go to Control Vertex. And what I want to do, you can see right here, this is the the first one, the second one, just so you can see the direction it's going. It's going counterclockwise from this view. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select some of these. And I'm just going to manipulate the shape. If you, I have these two, I'm going to sw switch to the scale tool just cre to create something like this. I'm going to push these out. This one's going to go in just so they can have some other shape. It kind of looks like a heart, kind of. And now it doesn't have to be symmetrical. Uh, I can move this one over here, for example. I, I just don't want to circle, just so I can get this, uh, get a, a different type of shape. Okay, I, I'm liking some of these, uh, these word shapes, that's fine. I'm gonna go ahead and go back right here. And I need a, a series of these. For these, I'm gonna go upwards instead of going around. It doesn't really matter which way I go. But what I wanna do, I, I don't want to just have them all the same size because that'll be the similar to using surf, uh, surfaces uh, extrude and just using uh, flat or length. I want to be able to change them. So I'm going to duplicate a series of them. But instead of just doing a, a duplicate, I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to tell it to duplicate special option box. Let me reset the settings. And so geometry type, I want to, I want to copy. Uh, group under parent. And so what I want to do right here, let's see. I want each one to be one on top of the other. So I'm going to go translate this X, Y, Z. So for Y, I'm going to say three. It's going to go up three. And you know what? Maybe I want, I can see where X is. Uh, I want each one to maybe go slightly to the side. So I'm going to say right here, minus one. So it's going to go this direction. They're going to go up this way. And for scale, if I want them to, to get larger, or maybe I want them to get smaller. So I'm going to tell these to, if I leave it at one, 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 that's going to be uh, a one to one. So I'm going to change this to point, I'll say eight, five. So this is going to make it slightly, each one's going to be slightly smaller. And what we could see here, I'm going to just go and create a couple of copies. So I'll, I'll just go six, so it'd be easier to select. I'm going to tell it to apply. We could see what's happening right here. You see how it's going off to the side? Uh, but I also want them to rotate. I'm going to undo. So let's see, rotate for Y. I don't know, let's say 20 degrees. Apply. You can see how they're starting to rotate. If that's not enough, let's go 40. Apply. Just to see how they're starting to, to rotate. All right, and I can have X, I don't know, 10. 
just so you can see how they're starting to have these cool other rotations. Uh, but you see what's going, what's happening in that I have the number of copies, the translate happens first. So it's moving off to negative one, uh, but it's doing it for each one. So when it goes off to the side, each one is kind of, um, it's slowly being incrementally added. See how we start to get this kind of spiral, which is really cool. Then there's a rotate and then there's a scale for each one. So each one is getting slightly smaller than the other. And there's a continual rotation. So these are the shapes that I have. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this window. So it's very important that we select them in the order that we want to apply them. So I'm gonna select the bottom one first. I'm switched to my selection tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and select shift and I'm gonna select each one in the order that I wanted them to be applied. Very important. Uh, you can't just select everything because you, you might not get the desired results. Let's go in the, we're still in the modeling menu set. Under surfaces, I'm gonna to go to loft option box. Let me just reset these settings. So uh, let's see, let's go ahead and just, uh, let's use these settings. I'm gonna tell it to apply. And you can see I get this cool curve that's happening right here. A couple things that I wanna point out. Is I notice that this, what this tool does, it is allowing me to apply, to create a really custom type of curve, um, or not a curve, a surface that curves. And you see how smooth it, smooth it is. And so you could always uh, see how these options change. The output right here, it's set to nerves but you could set it also to polygons. I'm gonna leave it to nerves. Now I wanna point out that you can see at the top, there's an opening top and the bottom. If I wanna close this, uh, what I need to do, I need to select the path that's right here. I was able to click on it, but we could also, what you could also do is sometimes I like to select this and then hold on shift to deselect the surface. On this one, I'm gonna to go to surface and under planar option box. Let's see, I'm gonna cubic complete nerves apply. Now notice that it's black. Uh, that's because I need to reverse it. I'm gonna select the actual surface, which is it is, I can see in the outliner. I'm gonna go into the surfaces menu set and just tell it to reverse direction. And now it's gray. So if I look down here, I'm gonna select, well, holding, I'm doing a marquee selection just to select it, hold down shift to click on the surface to deselect it. So now I have that path selected and I'm gonna use these same options. There you go. And so now what I have, I have my surface that I was able to create. So this is the, uh, the other type of surface that I want you to create for the homework assignment that I assigned for my students. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and save this file. I'm going to go to File, Save Scene As, and I'm going to click on this. I'm going to, this is not extrude, this is a loft. .ma. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to save, continue. And this is my surface. And one thing that you could still do with this one, I'm going to go ahead and select on these different surfaces let me go to the top one i'm going to switch to my move tool i want to point out that because construction history is turned on you're still able to manipulate these shapes so you can move them in fact you could still edit them and these two could be man manipulated or animated so i could even let's see this one here i could even scale it even more so if i wanted to be nearly like horn-like. I could do something like this. So it gives me a cool looking shape. And each of these, if I select all of these,
Oh, it's not allowing me to. I don't want to do that. <laughs> Undo. I was hoping that I could just move them. You see, uh, because of construction history, they're still connected. And you can still make different manipulations. So I'm going to select the bottom one. Say, for example, I'm going to scale this one out so that it's a thicker, bigger base. And there you go. I'm going to save this. Command or Control S. In the next video, I'm going to show you how you're going to be able to use the, I'm trying to remember what it's called. <laughs> we already did the extrude, the loft. We're going to use the revolve command. That's what it is. All right. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.